The last thing you want to be doing is dodging your light every single time you walk down the hall. What's up everybody? I hope you guys are all doing awesome. I haven't made a video in a while because I simply just didn't have the money to finish the bus. Which is okay. That's the reality of it. Anyone who's ever done this project knows it's super expensive. And some people do it on a budget. Some people put a lot more money than I'm putting into it. There's a lot of different varying factors. But spring is coming and that means there's all kinds of different fishing opportunities, all kinds of different outdoor activities. The snow will be gone and there's tons of possibilities to be out and go on adventures. So what I did is I committed myself about six or seven months ago to work as hard as I could to save up all the money I was going to need in order to finish the bus. Now I haven't quite saved all of it, but I'm getting really close and I've acquired enough things that I can actually really make some significant headway in the project. Where I'm at in the bus project is a little bit frustrating. I have a full size kitchen fridge, it's 25 and a half cubic feet. And one of the problems that I ran into was where I wanted to put my countertop in relation to where the fridge is wouldn't allow me to pull the fridge out far enough in order to service it or maintain it. And for whatever reason, I really, really struggled with how I was gonna do that. It led me down a path to where I reconfigured the bus and I did a whole different schematic. I even went as far as tearing out all the walls outside of the bed and the couch area that I had already done. It was relatively easy, but it was a pain in the butt. It caused me some problems because I didn't know if I wanted to continue to utilize that door or if I wanted to do something else to where I would build over top of it and it wouldn't be functional and it would just be there. After tearing out all the walls, reconfiguring everything and not really liking the way that the space then laid itself out, I had a weird epiphany. What if I just put the fridge right in front of the door so that if I need to service the fridge, I don't have to pull it out, I can just open the door. It took me a while to kind of figure that out. But where we are right now, I've ordered the floors, I've ordered the ceiling, I'm about to reconstruct all the walls. What I know that I need to do is I need to frame everything out and I need to get my electrical and my plumbing in place. Now one of the things that's really important to me is making sure that when I design this bus that it really fits me. I love the farm style frontier style of furniture and decor, but I'm also a designer. And I really, really like how some amazing, amazing builders are taking old wood and old things, repurposing them, and creating incredibly luxurious and beautiful spaces for people to live in. I want to create something like that, and that's where this comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the process of what I did to make that light, but I'm going to do it with these. Now the only difference between this light and the one that we're going to make right now is this L portion. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. Now the one thing that you have to do is you have to test the light to make sure that it works. Before you put all of these pieces together, make sure that the light's on because if you don't, you have to take it all apart to turn the switch. We make out for the thrill of it, mess around for the thrill of it, don't stop now, never let the sand for the thrill of it, we can never can't probably quite see but uh, it's actually throwing off a good bit of light and it's probably overkill for a closet but man it's 
gonna look good. I hope you guys found this super useful. It was a really fun project. If you like it, give her a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and until next time,